remember the first time that I walked into Annabelle's. I remember going into this club and feeling like I was absolutely transported. Annabelle's is like holding Mark Burley up to a mirror. It was an expression of Mark Burley. We walked down to Berkeley Square and into that beautiful house and down into the basement. I remember the light bulbs looped round into all those vaults, which were just wine cellars. And he said, I'm going to start a nightclub. It was an extraordinarily designed and conceived place. And yet you felt like you could put your feet up. The 60s was an extraordinary time to be in London. All those different worlds were starting to collide. Hairdressers were suddenly equally as famous as duchesses. And at the center of that was Annabelle, standing for the old world, but also representing the new. No paparazzi, no, no journalists were in there. The stars were unbelievable that come into me. Diana Ross would walk in the club. She'd walk straight into the club, straight onto the dance floor. She loved dancing. Do, 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 do. It is true that it is the only nightclub that the Queen has ever been to. John Wayne was funny, wasn't he? John Wayne. John Wayne got very drunk. Practically naked. I mean, people don't love it. People felt safe when they went there. They, they knew that they were going to be taken care of. I could see that the tip of that empire was rocky. I think it was inevitable. The reason why Annabelle's is successful is it's not trying to be something that it's not. It's timeless. It's not right. That's what I definitely love about it. Men and women together, getting drunk, having a great time. There's a bit of decadence about it, yes. Whenever I go, that's so jammed, you've got to get in.